Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Japan in Europa Universal 4. I think it's high time we grab this navy. And actually, instead of going after like Korea or something, we're, we're going to ship this navy all the way over to here. Now that we have the ability to, we should conquer these natives. Let's see if we can get a colonial nation started up there a little bit quicker. Let's take a look at the colonial... Uh, Regions map mode. So we have a province right now that is in up here, which is part of Colonial Alaska. If we take over this province, we'll have two in Colonial Alaska. And then everything else beyond that is in a different colonial region. So we're quite a ways off from being able to get a colonial nation up there. Uh, you, we have enough that we can fabricate our other claim on. And we actually have an army up here that's just been waiting for ages. So, I think we should declare this war, like, now. We also are... in base tax or base production? The nobility state loses influence. Where the merchants lose influence. First off, what does Suruga make? Suruga is a T location. I think all we have to do is just look and see, like, which one do we want? Which one would, would we rather have? And I'd say it's probably the nobility could have more influence. So it's going to be this one. Which pisses off the merchant guilds. How did that- did I just do that backwards? I thought that the nobility were going to go up to- they were going to go up 10. I must have done that backwards. Jesus, that- crazy. It's crazy. Give me money. Draft some ships for war. I'm gonna sell them. When are some of these modifiers gonna drop off? 80, 82, 72, 72. So within two years. But this is gonna tick up at 3% per month, so we might have to revoke some territory. We'll see. We do not need to be doing that anymore. Korea is somebody that I still just want to eat. Just in general. We'll leave behind a token force to prevent him from training troops, and then we'll go chase after him. Stuff's going on with Iraq. The Ottomans have moved in. They've eaten up Hejaz, and... Looks like Najd no longer exists. Ethiopia and Ajaran are still sticking good. Bukhara has kind of expanded pretty well, I must say. We have loans to pay off. We still have mercs. We don't need mercs. We're at the mer the manpower cap, so we should probably find our mercs and go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, I don't believe you own any other land. There may be some mercs involved with this army. I think we sell our heavies. That attrition's pretty rough trying to cross the sea. Copper bottoms. Some quality ideas. They're disloyal estates in your empire. The nobility, that's not a problem. Merchant guilds are progressing at 3% per month, so... 33 months, though, that's more than two years, so that means that the modifiers will drop off before there's a penalty. So, just ignore it. Doesn't matter. That's only come back to bite me in the ass a couple times. We have a free diplomat. We should fabricate on... Let's see, are you fabricating any claims, Scorchin? How about you, Oirat? You've got all kinds of claims on Shun. Do we want to give land to Shun? I guess involve Chan Cheng. 
I mean, we might as well, at some point, use your claims, right? Can I? No. Not while the transport fleet is occupied. Which is no longer occupied, which is great. Let's let it get repaired first. We should, at the same time, declare this war here. You'll pull in Chinook. We got colonial superiority, so... Just go kill them. Kill all the natives. Great Britain's over here. What is Great Britain doing over here? He's not at war with them, so that's good. At least he's not going to be a, be a bastard and try to steal my siege or anything. Ming, he's levied war taxes despite their bankruptcy. That's smart. Despite the fact that that's occupied by peasants, we can demand it now. And so we shall. Get this course started right away. Does slow down our ability to get ideas. It's all forest. Winterized forest. Look at that. I'll just park it in the center for now. And these provinces, I don't know if we want to raise or lower autonomy after we get the cores done. For now, I think we just let them rebel. I think the rebellions will be small enough that we can manage them pretty easily. Plus, we have full manpower. So it's not really a big concern. We still need to find more mercs. I think we're paying for mercs. We're not. Okay, well that's interesting. Okay, the navy should be repaired. Let's bring the navy down to here. Here, let's let's tell this army to join. It's weird that it's not allowing me to use the Navy for autonomous fleet transportation. I guess because it was locked in between two provinces? Anyway, combine the two armies together, and then we're going to pull them off. What we're hoping for is that, yes, Shinto and Shinto, they've both converted. They both probably still hate our guts. All, all four of our vassals absolutely hate us. Don't really care. Hey, Nanbek Boyaki. Military tech cost comes down, missionary strength goes down. Japan gets Western trade. Yearly prestige goes down. Hmm. Well, that's gonna make some conversion difficult for the rest of the game. Now we can't actually finish this conversion. Okay, well hopefully that's not a permanent event. It did say till the end of the game, which is, you know, kind of the definition of permanent event, but... You have more land than you need, and you're loyal, so we will revoke some of your territory. Preferably provinces that are up here that we know should have low... Low autonomy by now, which is good. If we were to revoke this, we'd be upset. Not quite, and it's within the threshold, so... That's good. Shinto, 0% autonomy. Ming now have their independence guaranteed by Korea. Huh. Uh, what a reversal. Yep, we could go ahead and win that siege. That puts us at 76%. Um, 
I just want both your provinces and all your money. Which is going to require us to annihilate your army. Which we'll do. Gladly. Because you are well, well behind on tech, and it doesn't matter. Probably should have brought some more troops over. Oh, have we not finished the siege yet? That's the primary reason why they're not saying yes. I did bring the boats home, that's probably part of the issue. Okay, so we're building heavy ships. Um, we want to sell these to anyone who's friendly to us. Or at least neutral. Champa, you want a boat? No, I'm at war. The Pope has called for a crusade against the Ottomans. That's cool. Let's grab the heavies out of here. Send the heavies over to the other heavy. And we're going to see if we can sell these things as soon as we end this war, which is now. Colette! Colute! Kulut. Allied to the Blackfoot. Which we haven't discovered. Well, whoever you are, you're about to die. Crap, I was supposed to sell ships. You are not my conquistador. And my other general has no siege value. Can we hire a general? We can. I think we shall. The general is... Two siege pip general. Excellent. Let's go pick him up. I think we fire the other guy. Meanwhile, the Blackfoot are about to get exterminated. We'll piece them out for just money, because I don't really care. We will leave behind just barely enough. To maintain this siege, we need 3,000 troops, so one, plus, two, three. The rest of the troops can come home. That's He's probably just a one province miner, so... Salish Separatists have entered our territory. Get out of my land! And let's hunt for the Seven Cities while we're here. Crap, I didn't even realize those guys were there. They were hiding behind the British. Too many free diplomats. We should have somebody fabricating on Korea. Did we get kicked out of Korea? I think so. Also... Fortune, um... I have a vested interest in conquering all of Jin. So, if you could be so kind as to fabricate claims wherever possible on Jin, that would be great. And you've got core on all that stuff. You've got cores on all of this stuff. So as soon as our truces are up, we, we just attack and return all the cores. We've taken over Quilut. We'll wait for the siege of this thing. We'll send the siege leader over.
Ottomans are attacking Ethiopia. And now you will hunt for the seven cities. The nobles are almost loyal again. Lose stability, but technology cost goes down. Western wrecked ship until the death of our current ruler, Hideyoshi, who's 42. Do nothing for some free stability. Or do we want the tech cost reduction? I think we just want the free stability. Because we're conquering land, we have some unrest, we have some rebels. Like, there's reasons to avoid penalties, I think. Man, I miss the combine button from Stellaris, where you could grab two armies, say combine, and then they like combine even though they're not in the same location. They just meet, meet up with each other. Brunian separatists are going to have some issues, apparently. So it's, it's time to bring this army back up this way. Unrest is at three point something percent due to war exhaustion, overextension, wrong religion, intolerance, yada, yada, yada. Seventy percent chance to finish this war. Then we need a couple months of peace. All we want from you is your money. I don't want to make you into a vassal because that's silly. You're outside of coring range, otherwise I would have done it. As soon as there's a diplomat free, we will take Colette. Colette. How goes the uh, hunt for the seven seas, do you think? 25 stack, that's pretty sizable actually. Getting kind of up there on, on unrest. We are well below our force limit. Let's just murk up a little bit here temporarily. To take care of this problem. Japanese Australia is formed. Cool. So we have it. No more concerns about... Whether or not it's a state. That kind of thing. Hopefully they march into me. But before we worry about that, let's see. We can enforce Sakuto law. Stability must be at least level 2. We have to have 15 cities, have high legitimacy, and have a bunch of points. If we do this, then we get missionary strength. And uh, it applies to our col colonial nation as well. Western trade will be removed from Japan. So we can say, basically, screw you Westerners. We want to be really intolerant of heathens, but get our missionary strength back. Because right now I can't convert anything. I'm stuck. So this is an interesting decision. It also gives us a bonus 1% forever, but very, very intolerant of anyone that's not Shinto. What is Western trade giving us as a positive? Military tech cost minus three whole percent. Wow. And the negative yearly prestige, which sucks. Yep, I think we uh, take that decision. Goodbye. Goodbye, Westerners. We got kicked out of Korea again. Which sucks. I don't even think I have fabricated a single claim against them yet, either. Looking for the development map mode. Twenty-three development there. 
I think we want a fabricated claim on Gyung here. We're going to attack you soon, just so you know. Meanwhile, we have a war at 100%. We should probably peace out. Unrest is pretty high. We can attack Ming again. So... A 1-2 versus a 2-1. There goes our truce with Pegu. That was our vassals. We still have a truce with these two guys. He's likely to move either into the jungle or into the grasslands. I'd rather engage him in the grasslands. Or be the defender over here, but... That would require marching around. We'll try. I mean, I don't think he's gonna come back to Bruni. Brunei. Oh, there we go, never mind. He's gonna march into the, into the grasslands. We'll go fight him in the grasslands then. Just met the Shoshone. Horrors are getting done. Ming has gone bankrupt. We're at peace. We have diplomats free. Will you buy heavy ships from me? You are apparently at war. Hey, Malaka. Hey... Hey, anybody that's not at war? Is, in, is there anybody? Dai Viet is at war. Ming is at war. Min. Min's not at war. Hey, Min. You want a heavy ship? My darn diplomatic reputation being negative stinks. I'll take 30. What about Wu? Wu's at peace. Jin is not... No, Jin is at peace. I'll sell Jin some heavies, I don't care. I'll sell them to them and then I'll blow them up. Jin is hostile. Hostile and outraged. Looks like we've got to go a little bit farther. Let's go to like Bengal. Bengal, Bahmanis, these guys might buy them. The Gianagar. I don't want these ships. I want other ships. We don't have any loans, so that's good. We find our navy that's protecting in Nippon. And we add to our force limit. And, uh, yeah, we go from there. We also have money, so let's build some buildings. B7. Shipyards. And call it here. Alright, I'll take a break here and I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.